welcome to Motorcycle with Carl. This is my holiday edition. All right, so it's December. It's a little chilly. It's like 43 degrees, I believe. But I decided, because there's no snow, I wanted to go out and show you a place in my neighborhood that these people do. It's called Wonderland at Roseville. They have a Facebook page. They have all kinds of stuff. This guy's been doing this for 21 years. And I'm telling you, it's incredible the amount of stuff this guy has. I'm actually going to get off the bike, walk around. Um, we'll take a look around. So, pretty excited to show you that. So on our way there, we'll see some other people. It seems like a lot of people have put holiday lights out this year, which is pretty exciting. I'll tell you what, uh, if any of my family is watching these videos, do me a favor. If you need an idea for Christmas, uh, gift cards, or you can just get me some high-vis gear for riding my motorcycle. Well, at, at any time, but I really don't have any high-vis gear and nobody is expecting to really be seeing a motorcycle out at night, 43 degrees, so I'm just trying to be a little extra cautious. So yeah, um, do me a favor. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Go over, check out some of my other videos. I want to say thank you so much to everybody. I've been getting tons of comments and likes and, you know, I think I'm just about ready to hit 800 subscribers, which is pretty darn amazing. And I just want to say thank you very much to everybody. Hey, I hope some of the Christmas lights show up pretty good on the camera as I'm riding. So it is not far away. Doo, 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 doo. It's actually pretty damn nice out for 40 something degrees. If I got myself some better gloves, man, it would be perfect. Because these, these are summer gloves that I ride with. After we go see this house um, there's one other thing that I'd like to show you today and then if it doesn't snow and you guys like this video there's another house or two that I would love to take you to see but this one is what I have to say probably the most uh, extravagant it's pretty cool If you're around Fairfield, Connecticut, you might want to come check this out because I'm sure the camera doesn't do it as much justice as it does in person. So hopefully I'm early enough. I'm getting here, you know, soon after it opened. This thing's got like business hours and stuff over here. It's crazy. So you can see that big star he's got up in the tree there. Is this it? Uh, yep. So let's see. Do, 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 do. All right. Here we are. Holy cow. There's people here already. All right. So I'm going to turn the cameras off, get ready, and uh, we'll go check it out.
So this year they said that it doesn't go into the backyard like normal because of COVID. Which is sad, but it's still a huge display of lights. All right, so all donations go to the Shriners Children Hospital. They have a radio station, 103.3 FM. Oh, look at that. Somebody parked a motorcycle over there. Alright guys, so one last look at the Wonderland at Roseville. It is a pretty awesome thing that Gene does here. So let's get on the road and I'll give you the scoop. Alright, so that was uh... That was really interesting. I got to talk. I came over on a night that it isn't it wasn't extremely busy. Sometimes the traffic goes out onto the main road. I got to talk to the gentleman that does it over there. His name's Gene. Really nice guy. Um, I found out he's a Vietnam veteran. So I salute that Gene. Thank you for your service. Uh, we definitely appreciate that. Uh, all the lights he puts up there. Everything he does, he has donations out. He, uh, it's for the Shriners Kids Hospital. And I think he's earned a ton of money for them. You should go over, check out their, uh, their Facebook page. And if you could, give it a like for them. It's Roseville, or uh, Wonderland at Roseville. Really, really awesome. I was talking to him about, you know, because I'm an electrician, so I'd love to talk about circuitry and what he's doing. And he was telling me what his setup is over there. It was really interesting. Um, it's, it's very unfortunate this year because of COVID. You know, it's still raining on everybody's parade here in December. I'm hoping, I'm still praying that 2021 is gone, but 
have my doubts he said that this year uh, Santa has actually decided that he's not gonna come and, and do his regular appearance for the kids there this year but he said he's still coming to deliver the toys for the kids but he will not be at Wonderland at Roseville this year so it's sad and he wasn't able to do the, the backyard like he usually does. He usually has toy trains and all kinds of stuff back there. Um, but this year, you know, he really wasn't permitted to do it because of crowds and people and gatherings. So the, the town must have, you know, said that they would like it just to be a, a drive through. So the road's one way, you can drive through. So. If you're, you know, out looking for Christmas lights and you're near Fairfield, Connecticut, go check it out. Go make a donation to the Shriners. Say hi to Gene. Really nice guy. Um, and Gene, I just want to say thank you for all you do for the community. Really appreciate it. You know, a lot of people don't do stuff like that anymore, Gene. And uh, we need more people like you. Thank you. All right, guys, so we're back. And before we get to the next thing I want to show you, I just wanted to tell you, coming up on my channel, I got some pretty cool stuff coming up. I got uh, the front and rear suspension for this bike. I'm going to be doing uh, new springs on the front end. going to be doing rear shocks. Um, gonna be doing a hopefully a luggage rack when I figure out what I want to do and then toward the end of the winter I'm gonna invest in a new battery so I'm gonna swap out the battery I'm gonna do some uh, investigation try to find out what's the best so a lot of stuff coming up all right hope you enjoyed that first house that thing was cool there's no really competing with that here but this guy must have a bucket truck or he has a friend with a bucket truck. They always decorate a tree up here. And I think it's pretty friggin' awesome to be in somebody's yard. So here we come, coming up on it. Big blue. I could actually, I'm a few miles away from this and I could actually see it from my house. Cause I'm kinda up on a hill. Look, the lights are actually twinkling this year. Pretty amazing. I'm just going to stop here in the road because I can. Look at that. Twinkling lights on the tree, on the house, the wreaths. Really something else. Beautiful job. Awesomeness had to cost them a few bucks in lights I can tell you that all right guys so and girls I just want to say thanks for watching thanks for supporting the channel hope you subscribe and I do have some other Christmas lights I want to show you so as long as it doesn't snow in another week maybe i'll get out again there's a couple places that aren't turned on yet i want to go show them to you hopefully i can get out and show them to you but until next time this is carl saying laugh a lot be nice and stay safe